We visit an Indian burial ground next. Cape Cast. Howdy, folks. I'm Eric Williams, and welcome to Cape Cast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times for April 29th. We travel to the Nobscusset burial ground in Dennis in the second half of the show. But first, let's take a look at news. In breaking news, a short in an electrical pole ignited an osprey's nest in Mashpee yesterday evening temporarily knocking out power to about a third of the town. Officials said the nest was completely destroyed. In the Teen Be Gone department, Norlene's business has been experimenting with an ultrasonic repellent device that drives away youngsters who can hear the high-pitched sound. Owners of the Chocolate Sparrow say they use the device only after hours to keep loitering teens out of their parking lot. And strangely enough, we here at CapeCast have also been experimenting with audio repellent technology. Tired of co-workers stealing your last breakfast pastry? Wish there was a way to catch crawler criminals in the act? Cape Cass Industries, the name you almost trust, is proud to bring you Donut Off, the audio edibles insurance you can count on. Using technology rejected by NASA, Donut Off senses sticky-fingered filters and sounds an alarm that is sure to send them scampering. Get away from the donuts! Get away from the donuts! Donut Off. Protect your donuts when you can't. Order today. Thanks, Donut Off. Hey, folks. Cape Cass recently traveled to an intriguing Indian burial ground. All right, folks. We're here in Dennis on Route 6A, and right across the road down this little lane is the burial ground of the Nobscusset Indian tribe. Kind of a forgotten little spot on Cape Cod. We just heard that there might be some sort of offerings uh, or memorials down there. And we're ready to check it out. I kind of have a thing about cemeteries and burial grounds. I know it's all about history, these old places, but there's also something scary about death. Burial ground of the Nobscusset tribe of Indians, of which tribe Mashan Tampain was chief. Mashan Tampain. And we appear to have some offerings here. Feathers and corn here. So it looks like people tend to this place. According to town records, the Nobscusset deeded to settlers most of the land that became the town of Dennis in the late 1600s. In 1828, the town voted to fence in the tribe's burial ground. Well, here we have just a fascinating uh, offering on a tree stump here at the burial ground. Uh, shells, money, a pine cone, sticks, jewelry, even a what appears to be a lipstick, and maybe some mascara. I'm not sure what it all adds up to, but it's pretty cool. Well, we've been doing pretty well here at the burial ground. There's really some beautiful things, and it's a nice feeling, but I'm starting to get a little worried about that thing in the tree behind me. It looks like it has feet. The creep factor's been ratcheted up here. That's a rabbit in a hat, a dead rabbit in a hat hung from that tree with flies. Probably an offering of some sort. Well, we came, we saw, we didn't understand everything here at the Nobscusset Burial Ground. But really amazing, just a short walk down a, a shady lane brought us back in time about 400 years. Now let's check the all-important Cape and Islands weather forecast backed by video from Pilgrim Heights in North Truro. For tonight, a chance of showers before 9 p.m. with a low around 38. And for Wednesday, sunny with a high near 55. Okay, we've got to get out of here. This has been CapeCast for April 29th. Till next time, see ya! CapeCast!